it's a rainy day in Andover. I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go spend the night in a little bit of woods near a supermarket. Oh we're gonna try anyway. I've checked it out this place so it's not not totally new. Let's go see. We can make it through the night. There's like a cement works just here. Path there. Here's the supermarket. Bushes are still very brown and not green. Probably should have bought a different jacket and stuff, but once we're in, we've got a few tarps. And then head in the woods. Here's the place with the wastelands. The ground's horrible. Find somewhere to put my bike. I'm happy leaving it. So I've got to go to the shop and get some food for tonight. Would have been a lot easier with the, without the bike. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, sinking. Sinking, sinking. There's the car park just ahead. We're adjusting. Get in, try and get in there. Well, it's nice and like thick and surrounded. Where are we? Hopefully, no dog walkers come around here. I don't think the ground's horrible. There's like waste around. So just thinking, do I try and get my bike through that stream and through there, through these trees? Maybe take the pannier off first and get through, then bring the bike through. Just because I leave it out here, you know. The back of the supermarket just over there. Just got to keep an eye out for, you know, Sainsbury's workers who might be out on a break or something. Wouldn't be one of my videos about a face full of tree, would it? I did this the other day, but it wasn't raining that time. Didn't have any bags on. I don't want to throw this, put my stove and that in. So, it generally does it. Yep, that happened. <laughs> Wet socks. No, no tires on today. Yeah, 
here is just a spot. I thought I remember it being further away than the stream. But I don't really want the car park just just there uh, so people might be weird out uh, the man in the bush. The ground is pretty waterlogged. I'm gonna get my bag bag off. See if I can get my bike across without going in the river stream. And set up camp. I remembered I did put my camera in this bag. Had it in the rucksack and I changed it because everything, everything, everything was rattling in here. Yeah. Well, it's a good test of the pan here. It's a dry bag as well, you know, sort of thing. Should be, but never know. Should have just kept it on the bike. Got the bike across. It was easy. Balanced on it. But, um, yeah. I've had a look over there to see if it's any better than this. I know, amazing, but let's see if it's any better. But there's big there's puddles and water, water on the foot, completely waterlogged. But it's more, more so over there. Hammock might have been a good idea. But these trees are, trees are all quite low. Anyway, it's enough standing around in the rain. Let's get some sort of camp set up. Three tarps, and this is my setup. <laughs> you know I I've got like a memory frame mattress there, you know, with this mud. Happy ish, you know? not great. Let's go out and uh, see what it looks like, and let's go shop, get some food. Tonight. I think I'll put my bike to be alright. Oh, I've got my luck, so I've had a look on that. That'll be even difficult, really quite difficult to get it out of here. Carrying it through all these twigs and shit. Let's go to the shop and get some food. Okay. That would be better if I didn't bother bringing any camera at all. <laughs> Should have just bought like a, a bright blue top. But this side, I'm not worrying about this too much. I think I need to get a lot lower. Let's go check out what it looks like from the supermarket. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Like a Sainsbury's is just there. There's the cement works, and that way is the path I showed you on the way in near the cement works. But I don't think anyone will cross through here. Not about good pair of boots anyway. Yeah, that looks awful. Definitely looks like someone's camping. I'm gonna go and pull it down. That's a lot better now. Let's go get some food. I've got my food. Can't see anyone. I can't, can't see anything through the car park of the camp. Would show you, but it's gonna look suspicious. There is like evidence of people here. A bottle, of, a bottle of wine or something there, cans of beer, but maybe they're more sensible and come early in the summer. 
up being um, sent in a cook set. Like, you know, like a jet, jet boil thing, but a fire maple one. But they said I don't have to review it, so that's nice of them. Got a tiger on. Don't know if I asked for this one, but probably did. But just, you know. Just gonna make a um, steak, steak mashed potato, pepper corn sauce. I was gonna try and do chips in this, but no. <laughs> not today, not today. There you got fry pan, the cooking system thing, and like a. Looks at I think. Utensils, chopping board and stuff to put salt and pepper oil in. This might be an episode of cooking between my legs. I started another channel the other day just for like putting stuff on. People have asked like what do you think of um, this tent? What do you think of that bag? We do a review, do a review, get the words out, we do a review on it but I um, don't want to do reviews on this channel for like smaller things because uh, people don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. So, so I've got another channel, I'll put the link somewhere, I'm gonna go check it out. I'll see you over there guys. Thanks. This is always way too much mashed potato, but it's a wet, cold night. Well, before steak, cake, nice bake off slice. Camps like this, you've got to indulge, you know. Again, I've got a pair of tongs in here somewhere. I think with a jet boil thing type of thing though, it's just directly up. Isn't it? So you really need a thick pan if you're doing coconut on like this. I think I'm just going to keep turning it. The steak is just sucking all the heat out of the pan. I'm going 
gonna take it out, get a rest now. Don't think we're gonna get much colour on that. The butter's only just melting. steak and mashed potatoes for tonight. I had some greens yesterday. So cut the steak. I'll move make some room first but I end up dropping it. Fingers I think. Oh yeah. Not pink, but tender still. I don't see that. I'm gonna enjoy my steak. I didn't know guys. Hope you're enjoying yours. And I'll see you in a bit. Try and reorganise myself. So I feel more comfortable. I can get my feet out of the rain finally. Maybe. Got my bed set out now. It's not great, I've got this uh, there's a stump under here. So I haven't got too much room. I feel like diagonally. Baby bag, but extra protection. Well, protection. It's not much wind, but I think it's gonna um, keep rain all night. So hopefully this will keep me nice. And, so hopefully this will keep me nice and dry. Yeah, this should, this should do. Just have to keep an eye on my water collection up here. It's um. Quarter to six now. It's like getting like lighter. It's like to get lighter and lighter in the evening. So hopefully in the summer, we got more camps. Well, hopefully sooner there'll be more. But yeah. Hope that stream doesn't get any higher. That should be. It's not raining that much. It's gonna chill. I have got a beer, but don't know. Don't have to feel it. Pretty wet enough. You gotta love a tent today. Thought I'd switch it up today. Uh, wish I was in a tent right now. Six o'clock. Still quite light though. I, I can see. Uh, Want to get these wet boots off there. I'll leave it a little longer just in case. Half nine now. The shop closes at um, ten, it's, but it's quite quite down a lot at the shop anyway. The rain did stop. Well, it started again. It's not cold, cold, but. Everything's damp. Trousers, bottom of my trousers are damp, feet damp. So I'm debating whether I walk to Tesco. Tesco closes at 12 over the, over the way there. 
I have a couple of pairs of socks for tonight and a pair for tomorrow riding back. I might do that. It's up to do as well. This is the puddle under my bag. This is my bivvy. Nice puddle here. <laughs> oh well. Let's go and get some socks. Socks acquired. Just looking for some cling film. Love some socks. Boxes and some uh, cling film. I don't know what to say. You know, warm up a bit. Get back to camp now. Hopefully, be a bit cosier. Back now. Got my coffee. Got a lovely pair of warm socks on. It's just horrible, wet feet in the bottom of the sleeping bag. No, it just weren't drying. So uncomfortable. Just not so uncomfortable. Just not pleasant. So probably should have been hot chocolate. I want to get some sleep soon, but yeah. Hopefully the rain stops by morning. It's not going to be fun taking down all this wet stuff. It's Twelve o'clock now. I'm going to go off to sleep. One last one of these. It's quieting down a lot. So let's see how well I sleep. Morning, everyone. It's uh, six forty-five now. Pretty broken sleep. I think we got wake up probably two hours, something like that. Just so, took this coat on. It's probably got a bit of stuff in my pockets, but I don't want to get it out in here. Just lose it. Yeah, not too bad. I think the shop might be open, like the change breeze there, but quiet at the moment. I think if I wasn't on this air mat, would have drowned. I don't know if it was a red bag that kept me dry. Might have been just the air mat keeping me above the water. <laughs> A bit of water in there, I don't know if it just got in from the top or came up from the bottom, I'm not sure. Here you go, packed up my swamp. Bags are stuffed with wet stuff. Hopefully you've got all the wet stuff in there. Well it's all wet really, but you have to dry it, I might try and dry it my sleeping bag as well. But yeah, I'm away guys. I'll see you in the bush next time. If you haven't liked, subscribed, do so if you want. And I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.